The Breeders' Cup disc staff, $2 million over a mile and an eighth. With the call, here's Larry Colmus. Doesn't get any better than this, Tom. They're all in line, ready for the start. They're off, and the Breeders' Cup distaff, and Mike Smith is sending Royal Delta out of there. Beholder is fast, too, but so, too, are close hatches and authenticity, and they're going to be involved in the pace, and now Stevens takes Beholder back off of it. He's going to sit fourth early. Street Girl is fifth, and Princess of Silmar's alongside of her as they race for the first turn here, and the leader is authenticity. So John Velasquez gets her to the front here through the first quarter of a mile, which goes in 22 and 3 fifths seconds and Royal Delta's three quarters of a length behind and second Beholder is third. Close Hatches is fourth and she's down on the rail. Three lengths ahead of Princess of Silmar and Longshot Street Girl is last and they go to the back stretch. Authenticity is the leader and Royal Delta the two time winner is alongside of her and she's only a neck back with five furlongs to go a 46 and one half mile a solid pace but they're not flying on this track today. Beholder is third just to the outside of Royal Delta now they're side by side and Beholder sticks her head into second. Royal Delta is back running in third and she's lost a little bit of ground to the leaders here and she's about to be joined on the outside by close hatches and suddenly Royal Delta's fourth on the inside. Princess of Silmar's got five lengths to make up and Street Girl is the trailer around the far turn and Beholder and Gary Stevens have taken the lead on the outside. Authenticity is second, close hatches third and Royal Delta no better than fourth at this point and they're into the stretch and Beholder's in Front. Close hatches on the outside is taken second. Authenticity third. Royal Delta won't get there. Neither will Princess of Silmar. This is all Beholder. Beholder and the comeback kid. Gary Stevens have won the Breeders' Cup distaff with authority. Close hatches was second. Authenticity was third. Royal Delta ended up fourth. Street Girl fifth. And Princess of Silmar did not fire today. She was last. Gary Stevens' first Breeders' Cup in 13 years. <laughs> Gary, I'm glad you left the broadcast booth now because that is a tremendous victory. Devastating performance by Beholder in the $2 million Breeders' Cup distaff. Time now for the trophy presentation. We're with Bill Ferris, the chairman of the Breeders' Cup. We'll check in with you very shortly, but first we do have a special presentation with Jan Patrick Schmitz of Mont Blanc. Yes, congratulations for a fantastic victory from Mont Blanc. I would like to present to you the Nicolas Riesuk Mont Blanc chronograph. Congratulations. Mr. Farish? Well, Vita gives me a uh, tremendous pleasure, especially given who the winner is of this great race. And the way Beholder did it was uh, truly special, beating two great fillies the way she did. And to present it to you and Dick and Gary really makes it special. So congratulations. Winning owner B. Wayne Hughes. Mr. Hughes, the big story coming in was regarding Royal Delta trying to win her third. Princess of Silmar, Horse of the Year implications. Beholder winning the way she did. Did she do enough to earn champion three-year-old Philly? Oh, I hope so. Uh, <laughs> she did as much as she could. I mean, I think uh, you can't be a champion unless you defeat champions. Both of the uh, runner-up horses are champions, and uh, they made the race by coming here and uh, and taking uh, taking us on. So, yes, I think uh, that she's done enough. Congratulations on the victory, eighth Breeders' Cup title at Santa Anita for Hall of Fame trainer Richard Mandela. Tom.